Hey guys, I'm Dr. Bo. I'm a physiotherapist and a lifestyle coach, and I want to talk today about healthy hips, all right? A lot of times I get folks coming to me with back pain or knee pain, and we often and almost always have to assess the hips, and a lot of times it's something going on there that we can clean up that's going to fix the knee or the back pain, okay? If you're not familiar with this concept of mobility and stability in the joints along the body, there needs to be a good balance of how much tightness there is somewhere versus, and that's coming from, again, hopefully, the muscles being able to control and contract, not tightness in the sense of we're sitting in bad positions all the time, and now this hip is very tight, okay? So that is what happens invariably in that we develop these tightnesses. If you've ever been told you have a tight IT band, if you've ever been told, oh, you know, you're always standing kind of like this with the hips out that way. Um, I, I joke and call that sexy pose or the country club lean. And those will develop into issues down the line, okay? So the hips I love working with as a physio because it's a pretty straightforward joint, okay? It's a ball and socket, all right? So that thigh bone comes up and it has a ball and socket. So the anatomy is pretty straightforward and we just wanna make sure that it has good motion through the entire range of motion that it needs to be there for. A lot of times, again, we get tightness and we ignore a lot of the positions because we stop moving through a full range of motion. So even if we squat and we're not squatting all the way down, Okay, that hip joint that's in here is not getting all of the nutrition and motion that it needs. And it starts to develop issues. So down the line, later on, what do we see? We see these overgrowths and you have to go and get an x-ray or an MRI and you get either a little overgrowth of the socket and then they need to shave that down or you get an overgrowth of the ball and they need to shave that down so that we can have better space. But what you can do right now today is assess or get assessed by somebody like me who knows what they're doing and make sure that you have that full range of motion of the hips all right so really simple version of that is if i'm laying down okay can i bring my knee all the way to my chest that is the hip joint in here showing that it has full range of motion what's going to happen here a lot when i assess people is they get a little pinch on the inside in the groin area okay and that's something that we want to start to clean up because otherwise that's kind of like an emergency brake being turned on. And as we go through life, whether we're participating in biking, squatting, working out in the gym, whatever it is, if there's that tightness constantly there, it's gonna start to kind of wear down the joint and wind it down so that down the line, we, we're gonna have some issues and we're gonna need to clean that up either with surgery down the line or we can do it today. So. Number one, flexion. So can you bring the knee all the way to your chest as I just showed? The other big one that gets ignored is rotation. So do we have internal rotation? How far out can you control that? It's a weird motion if you haven't done it in a while or you haven't had someone like me ask you to do it. And then external rotation is coming up this way. So internal rotation, external rotation, okay? Do you have good range of motion there? If I have you on the table, I might be able to assess that a little bit better but we also wanna see that you have active motion there, okay? So understanding the anatomy, understanding what can go wrong, understanding the common problems that happen there, which a lot of it is just tightness because we sit a lot, we might cross one leg over all the time, or we might be doing stuff that's single-sided if we're doing golf and we're always playing that way. I played quarterback in high school, so I'm always kind of opening up that way. My right hip actually got tighter because my left one was doing more of the work, okay? So on top of that, where do we have mobility issues, AKA where do you have tightness that we can start to unwind? And then B, do we have stability? So if I go to sit here, right, single leg squat, and my knee's wobbling all over the place, if it collapses in and I don't have good control stability, then we wanna start to identify that and get it stronger and put a plan in place with, again, a, a coach who's gonna show you over the next four weeks or over the next 12 weeks, here's how we're gonna get those muscles, that movement pattern to be better, to be cleaner, so that we can get your car running better, so, AKA your hips functioning better. If that makes sense, or if you wanna to start to talk a little bit more about your particular hips, any pains you might have going on in your back, in your hip, 
in your knee, anywhere along that chain, we want to start to identify where is it most likely coming from. Some of this stuff, again, can come down to your shoes and be the footwear that you're doing. And because again, that's going to create some of that instability. Okay, and we want to start to figure out how we can get everything moving better. It all works together. Thinking about the hips again, full range of motion is the biggest takeaway. If you have questions, let me know. We'll talk soon.